we'll talk to it. Hey, Tesla. <laughs> I can't believe we're going oh, swimming in this look weather. Look at this snow. Look at this snow. <laughs> Give it a go. Don't waste your time. Cause you're running. Right now we're in the rental car center and I just found out that we're going to be having a Tesla as our car. I'm so excited. Wait. Oh my god! I can't open it. Like, hey, how do you open this thing? Never put a suitcase in the front of the engine. Okay. That's weird. Well, they need to unlock it. Ow. How do you turn off the emergency oh lights? Oh Does this thing come with a training? Well, talk to it. Hey, Tesla. Maybe lights. Lights. That's a light. Off. Press headlights off. Or stay for your light. Found it. The drive from Montreal to Montreal was about an hour and a half. And it snowed the entire way there. Is anybody else horrified of driving in icy, snowy conditions? Not even the one driving, and I'm so nervous over here. I'm a Florida girl, I would drive in hurricanes, no problem, thunderstorms, no problem, but ice and snow. Ten minutes to go, we can do this. As we got close to the ski resort, you could tell that we were arriving in a real life winter wonderland. Hey Siri, how do you shut off a Tesla? Got it. We were staying at Leigh Weston and the resort was beautiful. It even included this super cool pool that we knew we had to try out. The hotel was pretty spacious and had everything we needed. We loved that the room not only had a view of the snow, but just enough snow on the balcony for us to play with. Right now, we're getting dressed to go out and see the village. Ready? No, I'm not ready yet. I am. Once we got all settled in, it was time to go out and explore the village. Montreblanc is known for being a Christmas wonderland, and it had all the feels. But hold that thought. Before we could explore any more of this village, we had to stop for some food. This is a new restaurant. <laughs> Even though it was Christmas Eve, there were lots of restaurants open at this ski resort, and the food was amazing. Now back to the village. <laughs> Hot chocolate as a family. <laughs> Dad, show your pants. <laughs> Christmas morning and it's snowing outside. Merry Christmas. Because we're not home on Christmas, we decided to open all of our Christmas like big presents at home and bring our stockings on our trip so we had something to open on Christmas. We normally get the same things, so we have to coordinate so that we don't spoil each other's. I don't have markers. I don't have markers. I totally did not know I was getting this because my mom had one. But this is so cool. I like These are the big ones, so I, I can, can even put all my hair oh, I can even put it yeah, in here, too. Yeah, this is nice. I want to put it in here. Mascara? <laughs> oh, yeah. There's tan, there's blonde. Those kind of cheese. There's like tinier ones. Thank you, mom. Yeah. Okay, so right now we are actually walking to this little chapel that they have in this ski village and it's called St. Bernard Chapel and we're going to go to 930 Mass on Christmas Day. Here it is! It's so cute! Tell me this isn't adorable. This was a Catholic Mass and the service was completely in French.
After the mass, we went to go see what was going on in the ski village. We saw this sign that said maple taffy on snow and we had to know what it was all about. It smells so good. It smells like maple. Wait 45 seconds and after 45 just throw it, okay? 20, 21, this is so good. That's good. It's a maple syrup, taffy, and then you roll it on ice. So good. We just decided we were getting on this cabriolet. Is that how you say it? I don't know. <laughs> it's a free ride to the base of the mountain. Wherever With that taffy. is. With her taffy. <laughs> wherever the base of the mountain is. <laughs> okay, there you go, guys. Okay, we're on our cabriolet. Does this go up and down? I hope not. Okay, we are up at the top of the mountain now. My hands are freezing. I'm gonna have to stop filming in a second because my hands are so cold, they're like burning. And every time I whip out the camera, I have to take my gloves off. Um, there's actually a lot of people up here, including a ski school. And this is like the base of the mountain where you go up to the top to ski down. There is so many people and apparently the conditions for skiing aren't that great because they just had a huge snowstorm and the snow is still like really soft and you kind of sink into it. So we were just talking to somebody who's actually skis a lot and they were saying it's not the greatest conditions up there, especially for anybody that's new to skiing. So I'm not sure if we're actually going to ski while we're up here and there's a lot of other activities that we might try. There's actually dog sledding, there's tubing. Um, and I think we might actually enjoy those because we aren't for novice skiers. We girls have skied a couple times. I've skied maybe 10 times in my life. I'm not a professional by any means. Um, but there's so much to do up here, including skiing, but we might not ski. So many people. That right there is the line for the ski lift. And it just keeps on going and going. going. This line is so long. So right now we're headed to the pool, which I'm pretty sure it's warmed up because I would never swim in a cold pool when it's cold outside. <laughs> it's just horrible, so it's probably warm. I saw like steam coming out of it, so yeah. Oh, I'm so cold. <laughs> I can't believe we're going oh, swimming in this look weather. No, look at this. No, we're swimming. Okay. <laughs> These are the chairs. I think it can make it work. Let's see. Hey, all set. <laughs> um, this chair is a little cold. It's solid ice. There is no way trying. You better lose in your belt. It's Christmas. Some kind of love, my friend. So right now at the pool, the lifeguard on duty is actually coordinating a game with the kids in the pool where they have to do like a scavenger hunt. He gives them a monopoly piece and they have to find the matching um, like little monopoly piece on the bottom of the pool, which is kind of cool. And they had goggles available for the kids to use for this game. So that was kind of neat that they've organized this type of activity for the kids at the pool. Before we went in for the night, the lifeguard actually challenged us to sit in the snowy chair. <laughs> And we what? couldn't say no to a good challenge. We're eating at the same restaurant we ate yesterday because it's so good. We're back for more taffy on the snow. Hold on. <laughs> Good? Let's... 
Okay, so we're getting ready to head back to Montreal after our two-day stay in Montreal. But before we do that, we have to actually charge our Tesla. We're here at a supercharging station and we're gonna walk around and see what's around here. We have about 35 minutes left on the charge, so we'll be back. This is us in Canada walking to the Tim Hortons while our car is charging on the supercharger. But the walk to Tim Hortons ended up being a little bit longer than we were expecting. All I can say is it's better be worth it. Almost there guys, keep it up. One, two, three, four. Just keep swimming, just yes. keep swimming. Okay, we're almost there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Almost there. We can see the sign. There it is. Tim Hortons. Yes. Not just any coffee. Timmy. Tim Hortons coffee. The line at Tim Hortons was so long that Dad actually went back to get our car from the Charger and he's going to drive it over here. Next stop, Quebec City. Well, we hope you enjoyed our stay at Montrevant for Christmas. We definitely enjoyed our stay there. It was very magical and it was all the Christmas feels that you could want for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We had mentioned that there's also dog sledding and tubing up on the mountain and there definitely is, but the two days we were there, it was right after they had a big snowstorm. So the snow was actually very soft, so soft that the dogs couldn't properly sled on the snow and they were actually canceling all of the dog sledding tours on Christmas Day. So therefore there wasn't availability on Christmas or the few days after if we had stayed a little bit longer. So a bit of a bummer that we didn't get to dog sled like we wanted to, but that just happens when you're traveling and you have to be okay with the experience that is available at that time. We're lucky to be able to travel a lot. So we understand this. This isn't our one vacation a year and I'm sure there'll be a time where we get to go dog sledding. So make sure you're subscribed. So if we ever go dog sledding, you can be here for it. And then tubing, we didn't come across the tubing place. It happens. But again, we still had a magical stay for Christmas. The village was beautiful. Beautiful. The atmosphere was beautiful, the snow was beautiful, and we really enjoyed it. So now we're headed to Quebec City. Who knows what we'll find there? We actually find more when we have zero expectations. I know that's kind of strange, but we literally have the best time when we have zero expectations, zero plans. Sometimes when you plan too much and it doesn't work out, it can be disappointing. So come with us, stay along, please subscribe, um, and we'll see you in Quebec City. And I'm <laughs> what a guy will do for a burger. <laughs> Would you like a cup of snow? It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end